Good evening everybody and once again welcome to the lab session. This lab we are gonna essentially process files using lambda function, essentially use pandas but we are gonna use leverage the use of event driven architecture. What does that mean? As soon as a file lands on S3 we want to trigger or fire an event which will essentially fire my lambda function and inside my lambda function I want to process or read the file using a pandas uh, library and I want to do my further processing. In this video, I'll teach you step by step with code uh, how to do this. Okay, so let's get started with the video. I hope you guys can see my screen. Uh, these are the users or you know application that are going to generate uh, files and these CSV files are going to upload it to a, uh, S3 for uh, S3 bucket. Okay, from there what we want to do as soon as an item lands on an S3 bucket, we want to fire up a Lambda function to process that. Okay. So give me a second while well, I'll explain you all the details. So what I want to do is uh, here is a bucket that I created called test data bucket raw. I have a folder called uploads, right? Whenever I upload a file here, I want to fire up a Lambda function to read that particular file. That's called event driven architecture where you essentially invoke items based on a certain event. Very useful. For example, one of the popular use cases, you know, websites that they want to resize photograph. As soon as you upload an image behind the scene, they generate an event and they process that using Lambda function. Okay. So let me show you everything in action. How, how I made everything again, everything is there step by step. Okay. So don't, not to worry. All right. I'll zoom in as much as possible. And again, uh, uh, let me know if this uh, works for you. Okay. So here on this line number two to line number five, I'm essentially unzipping the requirements, right? Then from here, I'm using a Boto three and pandas library. Here is my uh, Lambda function. I called it a function called hello. You can call it whatever you like. Don't worry. These keys are going to be deleted after the lab. So not to worry. So here I create a global client object, right? For items in event dot record, right? For each item that I'm uh, getting, right? I'm getting the key. I'm getting the bucket name, right? After getting that, basically I'm printing the bucket and the key. And then if you observe here, I'm reading the data from the S3 bucket. Okay, as a binary, right? So body dot read is a bytes. Okay, so this is gonna give me uh, bytes, and then I'm converting into an IO object, and then I'm simply doing PD dot read CSV. Here I'm doing a D, uh, I'm printing my pandas data frame, and I'm printing my shape of that. So as soon as I upload a file on uh, S3, this will essentially fire this lambda function, which is processing and reading that file. Okay, let's take a look at serverless dot YML file. Over here I have a service. We are declaring the provider uh, as AWS runtime as 3.7 memory and timeout. I'm using a plugin called serverless Python requirements. This is the part where it's going to create a Python layers of uh, essentially a pandas layers that I can use in my Lambda function. Uh, that layers would be compatible for Python 3.7 runtime. Uh, now this should be pretty self explanatory. I have a function called hello. And this essentially is looking for a Python file called handler inside that I'm invoking a hello function. So if you observe lab 21 and again, I'll try my best to open magnifier. You see handler.py, right? Inside that we have a function called hello, right? So this is what it says. Now I want this Lambda to be fired by an event. So I use the word events. This event is going to be AWS S3, which is why I use S3. I use my bucket name event S3 object created, which means fire my Lambda when a new object, when an object is created on the bucket. Okay. Now I have certain rules, which means when anything is uploaded in the upload folder, I don't want to fire my Lambda when anything is uploaded, uploaded in the outer directory. So I am essentially looking for a particular folder and particular extension. So I'm saying that, Hey, please fire my Lambda only and only if it is inside the upload folder and only and only if it's a CSV file. Uh, existing true means uh, this bucket is already there, right? This bucket uh, is there on S3, right? So I'm telling the serverless framework that, hey, this bucket already exists, okay? Now, as you can see, uh, I have already deployed my la stack using SLS deploy. I don't wanna do it right now because it takes time. I wanna keep the video short and sweet, right? So I have deployed my stack and now I'll show you a demo here. Okay. So, uh, one thing that you have to do is, uh, uh, again, the layers would be there. So 
if you go to function and if you head over to uh, layers you would see python pandas layers being created okay now the only one thing that you gotta do uh, again that I, I i forgot to add in the uh, infrastructure code is let me see so you want to click on here uh, on the option that says layers i already have one but you have to at attach that manually so click on add layers custom and select your python select the version and then click on the add button okay that's the only thing okay so uh, all right so now we are all set for a demo right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you the csv file first okay so should be there in my downloads uh hopefully you guys can see right i have a name uh, i'll just add and please like and subscribe i i put in a lot of hours after my uh, work hours to create all these contents and lab with code right so simple like would be really really appreciated um so now what i'll do is i'll try to upload this file uh, i'll try to rename this as file 2 assuming that a second file has been uploaded right so i'm simply dragging it over here okay and please observe my console right the moment i click upload i should see a fire of that lambda function okay so as you can see the object has been uploaded i can go to the monitor monitor section and i can view the logs in cloudwatch uh, let's do that in a second guys okay and please make sure you have given sufficient memory and uh, you know your lambdas are not timing out okay so now i click on the cloud watch which will show me the logs that, that my files have been processed right uh hopefully i can show you that uh, uh, i'm just gonna refresh to make sure i have the latest log i'm gonna open my log file and uh, sure enough you can see please like and my this file actually came from mesh3 right we were able to read the file using uh, lambda functions right so what you learn in this lab is a very important demo that shows an event driven model for file processing resizing image and lot of other application right you want to process when a certain event is occurred right so this is a very good example which shows when a csv file is uploaded you want to process the file or you want to fire up a lambda function the entire code is there in the github section so please go download lab number 21 and try this out by yourself unless you try it you are not going to learn it that's what i keep saying right you have to put in the time you have to put in the effort watching wouldn't help doing things would definitely help with that being said if you have any more questions please list your question and with keep smiling keep programming thank you so much for watching all my session and i hope you are enjoying all these amazing tutorials on serverless framework thank you so much and i'll see you guys in the next video